the mystery of hand therapy that governs the disease through the hand. Is there a more objective way to prove its effectiveness? Recently, research in the changes of the cerebral blood flow volume has been taking place to prove the effects of cordial hand therapy. Although an adult brain does not exceed 2.5% of a person's weight, the amount of blood flow in the brain takes up 15% of the total. Therefore, cerebral vascular diseases, such as cerebral hemorrhages, occur frequently. According to the research results up to now, cerebral hemorrhages have been known to occur due to the rupturing of the weakened blood vessels that cannot endure the pressure. Although leukemia, anemia, and carcinomas can be the cause of cerebral hemorrhages, 75% of it occurs from hypertension. Mr. and Mrs. Yang Gi Zhou with cerebral hemorrhages are also severe hypertensive patients who are using cordial hand therapy to prevent any reoccurrences of hemorrhaging. This couple says that they are obtaining good results through the method of applying moksa to the corresponding points of hypertension. They say cordial hand therapy affects the flow of cerebral blood to assist the blood circulation and vascular treatment to maintain health. What is the relationship between the cerebral blood flow and cordial hand therapy? That relationship can be explained by the um yang pulse diagnosis, which is an important theoretical basis for cordial hand therapy. If an imbalance in the five organs and six viscera of the body occurs, changes in the cerebral blood flow takes place. Controlling the cerebral blood flow is the theory of the um yang pulse diagnosis in maintaining a healthy body. A scientific study to prove this method is in progress. The study subject's usual volume of cerebral blood flow was first measured. Then, after the hand therapy, the changes that take place in the volume of cerebral blood flow are observed through a variety of state-of-the-art equipment. We can predict any changes of the cerebral blood flow using PETs, MRI, and the SPECT, the other things. But in this study, I will use TCD and the SPECT and the MRI for the cert certify the hypothesis or theory of the cordial hand therapy, such as in order to evaluate the health state, carotid and the radial pulse, and uh, vertebral basilar systems using the TCD. The first experiment is using the transcranial Doppler. Using this equipment allows you to see the figures of the volume of the cerebral blood flow directly from the monitor. And then I will check the blood flow using TCD radial artery 
and the carotid artery and the vertebral artery, then I will put uh, any plate. There is uh, a tool of the Korea hand therapy. Then maybe there will be some change. You also have some problem in your shoulder or not. We will check it. Like comparing the pulse of the cartoid artery and the ulnar artery in the Umyang pulse diagnosis in cordial hand therapy, the cartoid artery and the radial artery were also observed in the blood flow volume as well. The theory of cordial hand therapy is that healthy conditions are a result of both arteries having a balanced pulse. After applying a T-shaped pellet on the hand, changes on the monitor were observed we were able to see a gradual increase in the volume of blood flow. Then, this means the Kodio hand therapy is authentic and maintains a person's health through the manipulation of the volume of blood flow. It is the theory of hand therapy that hypertension, which causes cerebral hemorrhages, can be normalized through the control of blood flow volume. The highest figure for normal blood pressure is less than 139 millimeters of mercury, and the lowest figure is 86 millimeters of mercury. Blood pressures were measured in patients whose blood pressures are usually higher than this figure, and changes were observed in the blood pressure after the moxibustion. The study results show that the figures had changed compared to before. There are similar results in the reports of experiments on hypertension and hand therapy. The result of treating 31 patients with hand therapy alone showed that 71% returned to normal pressure and 22% had decreased pressure. We observed the changes in cerebral blood flow through the SPECT to prove the effectiveness of hand therapy. Normally, after injecting drugs into the cerebral cells, the changes were observed through the images, but this time the changes were observed after cordial hand therapy. And the last experiment was the perfusion weighted image of the cerebrum. This is also one of the state of the art instruments that allows us to observe the changes of cerebral blood flow volume on the monitor. The results of all the experiments showed that the hand therapy produced changes in the cerebral blood flow volume. Using cordial hand therapy instruments, we can observe the change of the cerebral blood flow using the TCD, even though TCD shows a cerebral blood velocity, velocity may be proportion to the diameter of the cerebral blood vessels, but it is not directly correlated. In the near future, the first study is needed to certify the such a data. This experiment is significant in that it has objectified the Umyang pulse diagnosis theory that is not found in Western rheology. However, this is only the beginning of research on Koryo hand therapy.